What's going on guys? Welcome back to part 3 of my action RPG tutorial series for Unreal Engine 5. So in this part we are going to be making melee combat attack animations and we are only going to be doing one animation based on the player's input. So you press the attack button, the character does one animation and you press again and it does it again but it doesn't do any combos yet because that's going to be the next part so it's going to be really basic at least for me so yeah we're going to be doing a really quick setup before we start don't forget like the video subscribe and let's go so the first thing we need to do in order to get the thing going is to create an input action inside the inputs folder as you might remember in the first video we set up the input mapping context and we set up three input actions. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna open the input mapping context and set up the fourth one, which is gonna be a brand new input action. So we're gonna right click over here, go to input and choose input action. I'm gonna call it IA. Oh, sorry. Yeah, let's rename that. It doesn't wanna get renamed. I don't know why. Okay, there we go, IA attack when you do that you open it go to the triggers hit the plus button we already talked about triggers by the way it's like how you want it to trigger so like hold and release release like does the thing once you release hold does it like after you've held for a certain amount of seconds so what we're gonna choose is pressed. So it happens only w once, like when you press the button and that's it. So we can close this actually, that's that's just what we're gonna do. And inside the input mapping context, we're just gonna hit the plus button and we're gonna go over here, choose IA attack and we choose a button for it. So as like for me, what I'm gonna choose is mouse, left mouse button. That's like the basic of basics. So yeah, we're pressing the left mouse button. Nothing's happening. And that is because we didn't actually set it up in the <laughs> blueprints. Of course, it didn't happen. I'm just going to put a comment on the jump thing. Right jump. Okay, over here, we're going to call the input action. So type IA attack. And on triggered, we're going to play montage. And it's actually that basic at the start, but there's going to be some complications. So the montage to play, well, we didn't make any montages yet. So we're going to go back to the characters, mannequins, animations, ARPG warriors folder. And we're going to find the first attack animation, which is combo one. Uh, is there one where like it has all of them? No, there's no. Okay, we're just going to go with combo one, right click, create, anim montage. So an anim montage, if you don't know, like if you're a complete beginner, a montage contains your animation, like any of those animation sequence. And of course, you can make multiple edits without editing the source. So like you have start time, end time, play rate. Play rate is the speed, by the way. So like start time could be like 0.5 and it plays it after 0.5 seconds from the start. And yeah, you have a lot of cool stuff that you can edit. You can also like drag another animation and have two of them play inside the same montage. So uh, yeah, if you, don't, if you didn't know what a montage is, that's like my quickest introduction to montages. So we created a basic montage. We don't want to do anything with it yet. We're just going to go over here and search for the montage that we have just created, which is combo one montage. We choose it and we compile. Now, if we hit play, it's actually going to work. Oh no, it didn't work. Okay. I might know why we created our animation blueprint from scratch in the second video so we're gonna go back to that animation blueprint and we are missing something inside the anim graph so go to the anim graph you can see this goes straight into this one and that's now good because we do need a certain node to be between them which is the slot default slot node this node basically plays the things on the anim graph through the default slot, which the animation montages use by default, yeah, as you can see. So this allows your character to play um, montages. So I'm just going to move this away, hit play, 
and as you can see we can play the attack animation now we can see that we have a problem our character slides back once the uh, animation is finished and that is because we do not have root motion enabled on the animation we need to enable that in order to fix it because you know root motion moves your character forward once uh, like it moves in the animation so you want to keep that you want to like mention to the engine that the root motion should be enabled so we're going to go over here to the animation reference hit the browse button it should take us straight to the animation sequence on the content browser we're going to open that and um, just go here to the right well it's the left go to the left and enable root motion recently they changed it so that like it's not recognizable if root motion is enabled or not so yeah i don't know why they would downgrade their engine but they really really did so let's see how that looks in the game yeah, as you can see, it doesn't slide back anymore. By the way, this is like the number one complaint I get on my videos. Like people asking me, why does my character slide back to the start of the animation? Like the start position. And usually someone in my Discord server just tells them really quick, like you need to enable root motion on the animations. So guys, if you get stuck on anything, please check out my Discord server. The link's in the description. Anyways, as you can see, this works, but it's not perfect because, as you may guess, like, you can actually spam it and it doesn't really, like, complete the attack. So we're going to do a very basic setup for this. We might upgrade it later, but for now we're going to use, like, the most basic thing ever. First thing you want to do is you want to open the montage. You're going to, like, scrub through the animation until the point where the swing part ends. Like, basically, you want to look for the part where you want the player to be able to attack again. So it's going to be around here. Yeah, over here. We're going to right-click, add notify. And we're going to create a new notify. We're going to call it attack underscore reactivate. Oh, we don't need uppercase for activate. Okay, there we go. Now we once you hit enter, um, this basically knows which moment you want the player to be able to attack again. But we didn't really tell it what to do once attack reactivate happens. So uh, yeah, we're going to set that up now. So first, before we do that, we want to over here uh, check if the player character is inside an attack. So we're going to also do a very basic setup. We're going to add a branch sorry i pressed the shortcut better not in the basic parts so yeah just type branch connect it like this and yeah so connect it to false so if the condition is false so we're going to right click over here promote the condition to a variable and we're going to call it attack Uh, well, attacking, I guess. Yeah. So if we are attacking, well, if we are attacking, we're not going to do anything. If we are not attacking, we're going to play the attack animation montage. However, we are not setting the attacking back to true. So we're just going to drag it over here, set attacking and make it true and put it between the false and the play montage. And yeah, there we go. I think it's fine. So once you attack the first time, it's not going to let you attack again until we disable attacking. Um, let's actually check the default value because it doesn't seem to let us attack. Yeah, the default value is true, so we want it to be false. It's not going to let us attack a second time until we deactivate the attacking. So unless we set it to false, it's not going to like let you, no matter how many times you spam the mouse button. So uh, we want to do that through the notify that we have set up over here in the animation a montage. So notifies once what notifies are basically I'm going to give you like a very quick recap. So notifies are something that you put on your animation. So it's like a flag. So once you flag it at a certain point in your animation, you can call it from the animation blueprint or well, 
yeah, let's stay with the basic explanation. So you can call it somewhere in your animation blueprint and then um, call any line of code. Yeah, you can just do like multiple things, like countless things basically through notifies. Let's actually disable this, like set this to false once the notify happens. So we're going to go back to animation blueprints player, go to the event graph, and we're going to go like to a very empty place, right click and search for notify attack reactivate. So once the notify happens, this event is going to happen and we're just going to like do a basic setup, even if it's not like the best setup ever, but like we want to keep it as simple as possible for now. So we're going to copy the get pawn owner node. Try get pawn owner. We're going to cast to character and this is it cast to BP character. So what the cast node does in case you're like a complete beginner, I'm just going to make it quick. So uh, the cast node basically lets you access all of your variables, functions, events, basically anything inside the character blueprint. You can activate it through a cast node or even edit certain values. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to drag out set attacking and we're going to set it to false. So if you hit compile and save and then hit the play button, you can see that you can only um, attack again once the part of the notify has happened. So uh, you can't really spam it. You can see that like it looks like it makes sense now. You can even like even more if you want it to be slower paced, you can just, just like drag it here and wait for him to start going back to his regular position so that like it's more a, a little bit more realistic i guess it's not as smooth though but yeah this is fine for now so this does have one problem and if you like if you actually like jump during an attack for example oh actually it doesn't oh it doesn't do it okay let's say uh you are attacking and you interrupt the attack with another animation so in order to show you what I mean, let's do, just don't follow along. I'm just going to show you. So any key, for example, and then you just choose a random key like X, for example, and then you copy the play montage. And we do have, we don't have any other montage. So let's look for one. Yeah, for example, let's play the attack airborne or no let's just the hit yeah just like a random hit reaction so let's pretend you are attacking and then during the attack before the notify happens you get hit during this part of the animation so i'm going to show you what happens so we press play you press the X button, you can see we got hit before the uh, notify part happens. So if I try to press the left mouse button again and attack, I can't do it. And that is because the notify never happened. So what we're going to do is uninterrupted. We're going to play a delay or actually instead of a delay, we're going to play a retriggerable delay, which is a, basically it's just a delay. But if it hits like if it happens more again, while it's delaying, then it's going to restart the delay. So if we get interrupted, we're going to re-trigger the delay or trigger the delay and wait for 0 0.8 seconds, I guess. And then we're going to set attacking to be false. So now if I hit play, try it again. So I interrupted the animation. I waited 0 0.8 seconds. I can attack again and I can't really spam the animation. So it's a perfect system for now. Yeah, it's perfect basically. So that was attacking animations in Unreal Engine 5. I tried to keep it as simple as possible, but there's a lot of concepts that I had to explain like notifies and stuff. They are basically 
some of the most important stuff when making a third person game or basically any game with 3d characters so uh yeah we had to go over them but we're gonna go over them in more detail again like we're gonna set up more complex stuff so in the next video what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up combo animations like for example one two three and four attacks when you finish them it resets the combo and starts from the first attack animation so if you guys are looking forward to that please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you are new to the channel and also again check out my discord server it's really fun there and you can meet a lot of game devs get help on your stuff and just have fun i guess and like chill in there so guys i'll see you in the next video take care have a great day and bye